Hello everybody. Right, I'm going to show you a way to uh, get a very fast start in the game. You should get loads of money and some interesting things to do. And I think this is probably the fastest way to get going at the moment. Yeah. Although it's probably temporary, it might change when uh, 2.4 drops. So always check the forums and that to see whether these things still work, if you're going to have a go at it. Um, I've started a brand new, well not a brand new account, a restart with a new commander. So the the first thing I want to do is check the, uh, I'm going to do it in solo, check the timer so that uh, we can see how long these things take. I reckon it should only take, uh, it's about midday now, I reckon by the end of tonight I'm thinking I might have enough money for an anaconda from absolute start. So we see if that's possible. So first of all I'm just going to check the The, uh, you find the time that you've been playing the game in these statistics under expiration. So you can see at the moment it's showing one week, five days, two hours and 49 minutes. So that's our starting point. So at the end of this we'll have a look at that again and see where we've got to. So what's the time on the, the clock there? It says 11.50, 10.50. Depends whether you're in the UK or not. Uh, right, so... Um, this is the basic sidewinder and I'm starting in Acellus Primus which is the horizon start. If, you, if you've got the, uh, the basic uh, Elite Dangerous version then um, you'll be starting in Trevor Thick Dock um, in LHS3774 or something. Um, you do exactly the same but what you need to do is, is immediately take off from the station and go straight one jump I think it is to Cremain, K-R-E-M-A-I-N-N, -N, two N's at the end. And you'll find a resource extraction site there, and um, that's where you do your bounty hunting. That's where you find your high resource extraction site. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off, we're going to go to uh, uh, a resource extraction site, which is nearby, if you've done the tutorials, you'll find that combat is really tricky. But it's not like that at all in the game. This is going to be dead easy. There's no danger. So put all your thoughts about combat aside and just have a go at this. It's just a way of getting some, some money and it's quite easy. So I'll do my test now. I'm, I'm not a multi-person, multi-thinking person. As you can see, I'm going wrong again already. Primary fire. Right. So first of all, you have to do these pre-flight test. Um, you need to get your button sorted before um, attempting anything. So the tutorials are good for that to make sure you know what button does what, how to take off and land and that sort of thing. Right, but I'm going to walk you through stage by stage what to do. So here we go. You, you press launch and then just lift your uh, up thrust to a little bit clear. Put away your landing gear. Point up to the sky. full throttle and press the boost button to get clear quickly. Now on the bottom right where those columns are is your pips. You need to know how they work. So I'm going to put four pips to my engines now. That just gives a bit more speed. Now right on the right where it says speeding uh, there's some little blocks underneath that say mass lock, landing gear, cargo scoop. The mass lock is out now. It normally will have a little blue square in there if you're too close to the planet. And as soon as that's out, you can press your frame shift drive. And you want to just point at this escape victor, which is directly above you. So that's the sort of right angles to the planet. Things were going quite, charging quite slow. I'm going to do another boost to get further, further away. The further you are away, the quicker it'll charge. So ships or whatever behind is just um, slowing us down a little bit. Boost again. If you keep the four pips to your engines, you can boost more frequently. It's still very slow in this ship, but uh, if you if you only got one pip to the or two pips to the engine, it takes much longer for that capacitor to fill up, be able to boost again. Right now we've got to decide where we're going. We're going to go to a nearby planet 
uh, with rings. So I'm just going to open the system map. You can do this before you start. There it is. So all you do is click it and then these symbols light up. This one here is the one that targets that planet or gives you a route to it. Now you've got this symbol here. People get confused between these, these two. If you're plotting a route to another system somewhere across the galaxy, then this, this is the one you use. But if you're moving about within a system, like on the system map, then you use this one. So when you're plotting a route to go from one system to another, some people accidentally click that one and you don't, it still accepts it. You don't notice the difference. But when you try and jump, it tells you you haven't got enough fuel. So if it tells you that nine times out of 10, it's because you've clicked the wrong symbol there. Okay, so we've got uh, where we're going. Now, just to the left of the radar is a little mini radar with a hollow dot in it. That's where we've got to fly to. It's like a compass. So, because it's hollow, it means that the target's behind us. So what we're going to do is just pitch up slowly. You need to be clear of the planet that, so no, none of those scales and things on your screen. Once they've all gone, you can then start pointing in the direction where you want to go. So here we go. So that's it, Asilus 3. It's a ringed planet. It has uh, several resource extraction sites on it. And they're places where people go mining and the pirates go to take their mining stuff off them. They actually just try and kill them for some reason or other rather than steal anything. I'm not too sure why. And then uh, the police come and the police come and clear up the pirates. But if you get just one shot on the pirate within t uh, 20 seconds of him dying, then you get the bounty for it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to let the feds do all the work and then all we do is just tag them and we get the bounties for it. So this is just a way of farming money. And as long as you do it right, there's very, very little danger. So you, you don't have to get worried about anything. The, the bad guys, they always shoot back at the guy that's doing them the most damage. So in this ship, with very basic weapons, we don't want to upgrade anything, we want to keep it as basic as possible. With the basic weapons, you can do so little damage that they don't even know you're shooting them. So on the whole, they just ignore you. So, um, it's, it's no, no problem. So I'm just full throttle all the time now. But we're approaching now. I'm just going to slow down a bit. If you look where it says a cell of three, underneath it, it says 600 odd light seconds. And then there's a timer underneath it, one minute and something. So when I go faster, that, that goes down. Uh, when that gets to the timer, gets to seven seconds you want to throttle right back and then plant it in the middle of the blue zone there we go back now we're in the blue zone there we go and that'll stop you from overrunning if you keep full throttle you go straight past and you won't be able to stop and then you'll be rushing backwards and forwards all the time without getting there so keep it in the blue zone and that timer shouldn't go below uh, six seconds until you get close and then you're there. So that's telling you how long it's going to take you to get there. But you're slowing down all the time, so it's not a true time. What happens is the gravity slows you down. Now, you can see the rings of the planet now. It's like Saturn. So you want to come in at right angles. So just coming down a bit. Now, when you're within uh, a thousand light seconds, which we are now because it's only three to go. So I'm just going to throttle back. When we look at our nav panel, you'll see now... There's these resource extraction sites close by. High, unspecified, low and high. So you can choose any of the high ones. So let's take that one. There it is. So now we just fly to it, keeping the throttle in the blue zone. So... What's going to happen when we get within one megameter, mm it'll say, then uh, we get 
a sign that says safe disengaged. So you have to wait for that. If you drop out and there's nobody there, it's probably because you've dropped out at the wrong place. So you need that target like that. So if it's just in a little tiny circle, you haven't targeted it. So you see it's going down and down and down. That's staying at seven seconds because my throttle's in the blue zone. And then when it gets to one mm, then we'll get the sign and you can press your frame shift drive and you'll drop out there. Here we go. Safe disengage. Drop. So, you should see that there's some ships about. There we go. Now, this basic sidewinder doesn't have very good weapons, uh, very good uh, engines nor sensors, so it's very slow and it's difficult to see all the ships, but they're quite close by. So, what I'm going to do now is open up the contacts panel to see who's about. So we've got a Vulture, Imperial Eagle, Diamondback. So you don't do anything. So what you want to do, just for safety, put four pips to your uh, systems and two to your weapons. So you just wiggle them about until you figure out how that works. So we can't do anything. We're not going to shoot anybody. We're going to wait for the, um, the police to turn up and do it. Sometimes it takes a while. Let's just have a look at that vulture. So all you do is target them, select them in the panel. He's an Alliance Enforcer. He's gone now. So he's a Fed. So if we take this one. Now he's a Viper. He's another Alliance Enforcer. They mysteriously always fly away. He's clean now. See, they always fly out of range when you, when you select them. So very nuisance at this stage when you've got decent um, uh, sensors you can see them more so that's the vulture again so where it says vulture on the extreme left hand side alliance enforcer is dangerous and he's clean so what we're looking for is the ones that say wanted there so here's a cobra he's probably oh he's another alliance enforcer so he's a policeman as well They'll all be clean, always. Now, this eagle is not an alliance enforcer, so let's say he's wanted. So if you look now on the left, you see in red, wanted. Then below that, it says in wing of three. So there's, he's got two mates with him. So if you shoot him, the other two will come and shoot you. So uh, you, you have to be careful about anything that says wing of three. Okay, right. I'm not going to do anything just yet because um, this, all these ships, if I look on the left hand side, they're all, all the ones that aren't police, Imperial Eagle, Viper, Eagle, the biggest one is a Viper Mark IV. What that means is this is a small ship's spawn. So the ships aren't worth very much. You get like 10 to 50,000 for each one, which is quite a lot of money, but we can do a lot better than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly out of uh, here and fly back in again and see what happens. So, the it's quite this one here is quite difficult to see, but I think that's, see that line there? Or is that, that one there? That's the rings. You need to fly back out at right angles to the rings, ideally. So I'm just boosting. I've got no mass lock, so... Oh, I am mess locked now. Suddenly came from nowhere. The trouble is, when there's no rings, you don't know which way you're flying. <laughs> I'm just boosting for a bit. Oops, put my pits back on the engines. So it's, it's probably best not to... This, this one here, this resource extraction site, was in a gap between the rings because normally I'd be clear by now but let's have a look around there's a ring so we're probably we're probably going in the wrong direction so when you get these red things up in the sky that's normally a good sign that you're right angles right we're, we're, we're clear now so I can engage my frame shift drive I'm going to go to the other high one where there's rocks you, you can do this one but um, 
I, I feel happy about the ones with the asteroids because it's easier to see where you are with those. Although you can crash into the rocks. So let's let's come back onto the navigation. So let's try the next one. There it is over there. So if it's in one of the white rings, there'll be rocks there. But if it's in the clear gap, then there won't be. So I'm full throttle at the moment. And as soon as I see seven seconds, back in the blue zone. Yeah, nobody will shoot you doing this. You have plenty of time to look around, figure out who's who and what's going on. So this one will be like asteroids all around us when we drop out. There we go. So see with this one it's easier. There's the plane of the asteroids so when you want to escape you go up there. And if, if you generally head towards one of them blue things or one of those red ones um, you're not far off. Right, let's see who's we got this time. A type 7. That's a transporter ship, so he's a miner. And you'll see him just going towards the asteroids. There he is, and now he's mining. See, when they've got like a continuous beam laser like that, that's a mining laser, so they're not fighting anybody. So who else have we got? Asp, Asp, Vulture. So... If the vulture is not a... He's in a wing. If he's not a policeman, we might be all right. So he's wanted. We got some data from him. We don't do anything with that. So he's with two asps. And probably flying away. They're all want, they'll all be wanted. It. So it's a wing of three. So we don't shoot anybody. We're just waiting for the police to turn up. So who's that? So he's an alliance of forces, so if he goes off those three, he's not going to last long. Oh yeah, there's some fighting over there now. Let's go and have a look. So we can boost over there. And now, we might as well get our weapons out. Don't shoot anybody. Put four pips to your systems and two to your shields. And then get over there. So who's that? That's the Vulture. So he's going to be worth about 100,000. Oh no, he's clean. It's a different vulture. So he's a system authority, so he's a policeman. So there's the other vulture. And there was two asps. So what will happen is, because he's shooting the feds, they get on the radio and call up their friends. So there'll be more coming. So that vulture won't last long. Probably is going down. So he's losing his shields. So we just hang about. Nobody will shoot you, so you don't have to worry about anything. So there's an asp. He's lost a bit of shields. So you can see there's more and more ships turning up now. So that's that group down there is probably the feds charging over. Yep, here they come. So if you're very lucky, you can get all three. So... That vulture is going to be worth the the um, the most because he was he was in the centre. Now be careful that when you do shoot, see how that big anaconda drifted in front of him. You don't want to shoot that because if you do, they might start shooting you. So we just follow this asp for a bit because he's got that big anaconda on him and it's likely to go quite fast. So we've, we can see Wanted in the bottom left, so it's safe to shoot him. As long as you've got Wanted there, you can shoot him. But you want to wait till he's got to about, I don't know, 20% like now. Just tag him a bit. Like that, it's all you need to do. Now, because the other ones are shooting it the most. So we're going to get the bounty now. So let's find the next one. So Eagle shooting. There's the Vulture. He's still got most of his shields. And all of his... Well, he's on his own now, though. So the um, 
the other asp has gone so he won't last too long with all those feds on him so what we're looking to do we need about half a million so you can see nobody's going to shoot you just keep pointing you want to stay within in the range about whoop shoot him just got him in time 147,000 we need about well, a million would be ideal but 600,000 something like that so here you are look at all these anacondas so ho hopefully some big ships is going to turn are going to turn up we just got see they're all system authority they'll probably start drifting away again now so he's got a single cobra is another alliance enforcer so everybody now is a fed and you see how they all turn up when there's uh, any fighting going on actually if you shoot a ship and they shoot you back then the feds come and defend you but in this sidewinder with basic shields you're not going to last very long so we just need to keep hanging around keep checking your panel your your contacts to see if another ship turns up I usually keep keep at the top there because the big ships that turn up are usually going to be at the top. So, and keep looking around for any signs of fighting. It's probably going to be in the distance. Now, the reason we keep four pips to shields is quite often you'd be closer to the rocks and it's dead easy to fly into them. But keeping those four pips there, it makes your shields much stronger. And also, if you do accidentally get in the way of fire with four pips to your shields, it sort of just bounces off a bit. And ships crash into you as well, sometimes, in the heat of battle. So we're doing this in solo because it's just a way of getting money. I, I wouldn't really recommend doing it in open for a couple of reasons. One, only the last person to shoot the, the bad guy gets the bounty. So, if he's an experienced pilot there, he's going to be getting them all the time and you won't get anything. And secondly, people aren't always helpful and they don't like you stealing you know, the kills. They want them for themselves to get their money quickly. So, it's best doing this sort of thing in solo or make a private group. In the start options, uh, you can make a make groups and things for your friends or whatever but there's nothing to stop you making group with just you in it that's that's going to be useful later so nobody's turned up yet so it's um it's very variable what goes on sometimes there'll be ships turning up all the time and fighting all the time and other times it'll be a bit lean and other times it'll be only small ships and other times only big ships so each time you come it's different so if you get bored what you can do is jump out and jump back in again and then it sets resets the spawn to a different type so what we're going to do now is just fly around a bit until somebody turns up they will eventually so we got how much have we got so far if we look in our transactions, 225,000. I mean, doing missions, it's going to take you all day to get that. I think uh, when I started playing, I was going a week and I'd made about 10,000 profit from trading. Yeah, and here we are, you know, 200 odd thousand in a few minutes. And later on, we're going to be up to maybe averaging 40 million an hour if you stick with this there's three stages to it one is get enough money here to equip your ship to get away we need to fly to um, a system that's a long way away and for that you need a, a good frame shift drive and a fuel scoop and those two things cost quite a bit of money So there's that miner, still uh, 
still there. They're normally like magnets for bad guys. Just it's slow today. But you might find that it'll start turning up. So here's a transport, here's an adder. That's a bad sign. It's a small ship and this is a miner. Yeah, it's a miner. See, he's stationary next to a rock. That mean, normally means he's a miner. He's with somebody else. He's clean. But um, if they're flying about and they're not a fed, they're normally a bad guy. But I'm, I'm suspecting this is a big ship spawn because vul you get vultures with big ships. They're the smallest of the big ships, if you see what I mean. And you don't normally get them when it's a small ship spawn. The biggest you get with a small ship spawn is an asp. So small ships, asps, eagles, imperial eagles, cobras, vipers. And that's about it. With the big ships, it's anacondas, fair de lance, python, dropship, gunship. So if we don't see much in a minute, I'm going to jump out and jump back in again. As when I was here yesterday, you know, it was they were coming thick and fast. See all those white dots? That's the police wandered off now. So probably when they've all gone, then the bad guys will turn up. Federal gunship, nice. And an Asp Explorer. That gunship, most likely now, is a bad guy. So what's he? He's wanted. We can't do anything with him. We want that gunship, though, to be worth more. So if we look um, on the details there... Oh, there's a fight. There's a, oh, I can see something up there. So four pips to engines to get over there quickly. Who are they shooting? That's a Viper. They're shooting somebody. There's an Imperial... There's a Clipper there. So he's in a wing of two, so they're shooting his mates as well. So that's his mate, he probably won't last as long. Just an eagle. He's gone. Right, so now he's, he's on his own now. So these are worth between about 60 and 100,000. So, back to four pips to shields, two to weapons. So just use your throttle, you know, to sort of stay out of the way. Some ships have a nasty habit of uh, drifting into you. So there's only one fed on him at the moment. We need to wait for the others to turn up. The others are probably dealing with that gunship somewhere else. Yeah, we've got two on him now, so it's going to speed things up a bit. And then when we start, it'll be three. Right, here we go. That's all you need. Die! 95,000, that's not too bad. So, can we see that gunship now? What I do is I just like circle pointing down when you're above the asteroid belt like this and you can see quite a lot of what's going on. What you're looking for is gunfire. No, nope, nothing going on at the moment. You need to keep looking around. There's that S. It's, no, it's a different S. He looks like a miner. No, nope, he's wanted. 
So if you're really brave, the trouble is it can send you back to start again. Oh, it's only got 3%, look. So once his shields are gone... You know, you could shoot him and then run to the feds. Or run behind a rock or something. But with a sidewinder, it takes quite a long time to... Um, to get through their shields, so we can't do anything on our own. Because at the moment he shoots you when the feds are about. Hang on, have they got him? Somebody's shooting. There he is. So we've got to be quick on this one. Always chaffing. That's it, got him. You can sometimes shoot through the chaff. Another 64,000. So what are we up to now? 385,000. So well on our way to to a million. With the um, when we first came in as the small ships, um, oh, there's another vulture there. With the small ships, there's usually more of them and more activity. But it's um, as I said, you don't get so much money from them. So you got to get like five for every one of these. So he's wanted now. Now, two rules for when you're doing this. Never, ever shoot them unless you can actually see that red wanted. And don't make any assumptions. Just because the feds are shooting him doesn't mean that he's, you can shoot him. You must. It's an absolute rule. You must see wanted there before you open fire. Yeah, the feds on him now. Is he running away? So I've still got me four pips to systems and two to weapons. Yeah, they're all closing in on him. So I'm going to put pips to engines down, just boost over there, because it's going to start kick off in a minute. See that big anaconda on the right there is chasing him. Here we go. To boost again when you can. Once you get within about two kilometres, then put your pips back. That's it, we're ready to go now. So if one of those plasma balls hit you, it'll do a lot of damage to this ship. That's why you need your four pips on the shields all the time, because if you get in the way, he's going down quickly, isn't he? Wait till it's clear, don't shoot when there's anaconda there, just attack him. And again, just to make sure. Once it's turned red, that means you've hit him. Yeah, another 115,000. So it is warming up a bit now. Drop ship, there we go. He'll be worth about 100,000, hopefully. There's no feds or miners in dropship, so it's every time it's a bad guy. So what you've got to watch out for is, if you're tracking a bad guy, is that um, another one will turn up behind you and the feds will be dealing with him, so while you're wasting your time following somebody, you're missing out on all the action. But that, that happens. There's an anaconda over there. They usually leave those big trails. So let's get over here. So pips to engines. He's gone out of range at the moment. But that one there is the anaconda. And this is a bad guy. So I can't remember his name now. Is that him? Those about now. There's a gunship there. James Sampson, it must have been. Oops. No, that's not him. Is that him, Sebastian? No. He's got away from us. So who have we got now? Gunships. Have a look at him. He's elite, so he'll be worth something. 
Right, he's a miner. So you've got to be careful because gunships can be either. It's another vulture. Oops. I keep uh, going out of range. I'll have a look around because that dropship's about somewhere and it's going to be attacked by the feds. There's a miner there. So just be careful of the rocks. Is a miner. Here we go, up there. So four pips to engines to get there quickly. Quite often you don't get there in time, but don't worry about that. There's always going to be another one, so never panic. There's a python. Is that the bad guy? There's an anaconda. system authority. That's who they're shooting. He's dropped a heat sink, so I can't target him. That's him. Python. You can hit them from about three kilometers, but it's a bit hit and miss then. The closer you are, the better. So four pips to shields, two to weapons. We'll wait for him to get down to about 30% because he's got, he's got a few ships on him. Oops, he's getting away again. Be very careful, they do drift away. Just when you're about to shoot them, they're out of range. It. It's always best to you know, try and keep behind them if you can. Oh, he's got his shield spike now. So let's hope he doesn't sh start shooting us. Normally they go for the one that's doing the most damage, so we should be safe. Oops, no, he's dropped a heat sink. So retarget him. When he drops a heat sink, he disappears, you know, becomes untargetable. Untarget so st we're not within 20 seconds of the end now, so we've got to be careful. We've got to get him again. Right, let's get him. Just tag him again. Fly behind him. That's it. 138,000. Uh, another thing while we're at it. You'll notice that some of these things on the radar have got square tops, and some have got triangular tops. So square top means... Uh, he hasn't got his guns out. If it's a triangular top like that one. See on the radar, it's a triangular top. That means he has got his guns out. So, sometimes, if you're following the feds around and they're square, and then suddenly they go triangular, it means can mean that they're on to somebody. Yeah, if you shoot a te if you if you accidentally target the wrong ship, so I target him in just one shot is all it takes. You become wanted, and when it's you, they go straight for you. They forget all about any pirates or anything like that, and you'll become the priority target. So in that case, you need to get out of there like really quickly. I did make a video about if you look in my series, you'll see one about bounties and things like that, what to do when you've got a bounty on you and how to um, how, how to deal with it generally, how to escape when, uh, when you've made mistakes. I think I made one called Noob Mistakes or something like that. So but if you accidentally shoot a Fed without targeting him, if he just flies across in front of you, with this ship, normally you can get away with it. They'll send you a warning that says, oh, be careful where you're shooting. But um, if he's targeted, then they think that's not an accident, so you immediately become wanted, and they all turn on you and try and kill you. But if you're really quick, you can still get out of there alive. Right, we've probably got these in. Uh, Python. He's clean, so it's whoever's shooting him. That's an eagle. He's not the main one. So let's see who's there down there. So it's gunship. It's probably the bad guy. It could be that ass. And the gunship's behind us. 
What's that one? An S. Right, so we should be able to get him. 40% pips. So that's him and an eagle. Eighty-one thousand. Thank you. So now that gunship. Are they on him yet? No. So he's wanted. Whoops! Going to bang into us. Yeah, that's why you need four pips to shields. See, so we kept our shields. Without that, we'd have taken some hull damage there. So is he shooting now? Not that python, surely. Where's the gunship gone? Moxon, that was him. So he's wanted, so he'll be worth something. Yeah, one thing about gunships and anacondas is they do carry fighters. So even though they're not in a wing, they can still um, be a bit nasty. So if you go to your panel and look at sub-targets, and they look down the bottom, where it says power plant, if the, the fighter bay is about there, so he hasn't got one. So that's, that's okay then. Because obviously... You know, if you're concentrating on him, the fighter could come in and get you from behind. The fighter's a ship that they launch from their own ships. Quite interesting to see it when, it when they do it. But later in the game, when you're shooting these gunships and anacondas is what carries them. So you just have to check that if you're going to take them on your own. Because um, one against two is never going to be easy. When the weapons go all over the place like that, see how my targets are wandering about. That's because he's chaffing. So you still can get random shots on when he's chaffing. So you have to watch that anaconda there, see it'd be dead easy. I'm sure the game does that to you deliberately if you were shooting. So let's just take him. Yeah, we managed to land a shot. As long as he's gone red, it means you've hit him. It's not so easy when they're chaffing. And you don't really want to shoot when the the feds are next to him and he's chaffing because it'll divert your shots into whoever's around so he's gone now 91,000 so who else have we got oh an anaconda this should be good we'll make this the last one that'll give us a million so that's if he doesn't fly away Wanted, dangerous, on his own. So we don't want to get too excited, but he's worth 263,000. So that's all we need, and then we're out of here. Yeah, and they're shooting him. Oh, brilliant. Uh, it's, what's exciting about this is it's gambling, when you can shoot him. If... Um, you shoot him too soon, he's going to shoot you back. If you shoot him too late, you don't get the bounty. So you've got to wait till the last minute, but he's going down really fast, look. So I'll take a chance. I could go and hide behind that rock, but he's not putting up much of a fight. He must have lost his power plant. Let's shoot him again, just to make sure. Right, that's it. So let's have a look. Transactions. We got our million. Is anybody else about? Just for good measure. It's Python. So we've been greedy now. 
because at the moment we can go back and cash in and we got our million now we're going to gamble on losing it all not somebody shooting we might as well go for him seeing as there's so many feds about that anaconda didn't last long So full throttle. Try and get back in range. So every, every money helps. But really later on this time, in the time that we've got this 100,000, we could be getting uh, millions in, in a few hours. But I just want to make sure I've got everything I need to get to this next stage. Forty. Yeah, it's chaffing again. Yep, we got him. I'm just going to show you something in a minute when he's gone. Right, another 86. Yeah, these um, these rocks. If you're flying somewhere and one gets in the way, particularly if you're going fast, you know, if you boost, just use your down thruster. Watch this as you get close. Just keep pointing the direction you want to go, and you can just rotate round it. You know, I'm just pitched up a little bit, so whoever's behind there, you know, you come out from behind the rock. Boom, and you got him. No more fighting. Now, this is where you've got to be careful. It's dead easy to forget about the... Um, is the system authority? It's the other one. And Adder, he's not the main man. There's an anaconda. Another one. That's the main man. There he is. His adder mate's gone. Now they'll all be on him. See, I said it would warm up a bit. See, like that rock, if you're flying there, just use a little bit of down thrust just to keep clear of it. Like that. But obviously, it's underneath you. You could use up thrust to go over the top and pitch down. Yeah, so never get... Uh, when when you see the police fighting, never be in too much of a hurry. It's so easy, you, you just... It's just dropped a heat sink there, so you have to retarget him. Yeah, you, you get all excited, say, oh, they're sh shooting him quick, I got it, and you see, oh, crikey, he's only 20%. So you shoot, and then, oh, bother. I forgot to check he was wanted, and then you're wanted. And then the next thing you know, the feds are on you. So, so far we haven't taken a single shot. We had somebody bash into us, but because we had our pitch to our shields, we survived that. Right, so now we turn at right angles and just boost away. That white sky there, especially where it sort of tapers out, that's also like straight up. So, we're clear of mass lock now, so we engage our frame shift right. Whoops, got to put your weapons away first. I'll do that every time. Uh, on we go. Now what we want to do is go to the nearest station. So we look at our nav panel. I can't remember what it's called now. There's one right close by. There it is. Beagle 2 landing. And I think that's got all the stuff we need for the next stage. So, incidentally, you don't want to... Sometimes, if the planet's in the way, don't fly sort of straight to this. What you want to do is like try and get to the edge of the rings and then fly around them you go faster so keep an eye on that timer 11 10 as soon as it's seven seconds whoops just a fraction too late now we're going to overshoot it's gone down to five we might be right oh we just pulled it back sometimes if it's like five and three quarters you can get away with it right now as a general rule you want to come in between the planet and the station if you don't know where the slot is 
So this is going to be your first station landing. So just coming in between the two. Whoops. Should be alright. So there's the slot. So we're going to come in sort of from this direction. So they're single boost. So I'm just boosting to the side a bit, sort of straighten up. And you have to ask for docking permission. So you find that under contacts. Oops. Beagle 2 landing, request docking. And make sure you see that blue writing, proceed to landing pad. If you don't get that, it hasn't worked, so do it again. So I'm just going to get, for this first one, just going to fly sort of to the middle. Now, you see it says speeding on the right hand side. If you fly more than 100 meters per second in the no fire zone, um, you get that warning. So I'm just slowing down a bit now. So you want to come in with a green on the right. See the other lights flashing red. And on the green side. Try and do that as a you know matter of course. Because ships coming out are come out on the red side. Right, so now here's a tip. We can see 27, but let's say we couldn't. So if you look at the mini radar now, the one between the station symbol and a, and a main radar, you'll see a white dot at the top. That tells you where the landing pad is. So I'm rotating round until it's underneath me. So now the station is downwards. Hollow means it's behind me. Solid means it's in front of me. So I'm just going to back up. So sometimes you don't know where it is. And it's just turned right. So it's directly below me now. So all I have to do, vertical thrust down. But before I go down, we have to put the landing gear down. And also, take all the pips off your engines. And that'll make your ship nice and docile. So it's just behind me now. So I'm just backing up a little bit. And I'm going down. So I can land on instruments. I don't need to know where the landing pad is. If I just follow that dot and those rules, he's gone a bit to the right, so I've got to go a bit to the right. Down again. He's gone hollow. Now we can see where we are, so it's a bit easier. So there you are, we were just straight down. I thought I hit it then. So, uh, starport services. Let's get our money. Uh, contacts and we got 1.27 million what was that less than an hour I thought so that's a pretty good way of getting money just click on it and then confirm and here we are that money's in our bank now safe nobody can touch it so we can spend it as we like now this is a basic sidewinder it's loaned to us um, so I'm just gonna stop there and I'm gonna start again with stage two